Sheesh. I know y'all see how laid and slayed this install is, okay? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be doing this half up, half down install with this loose wave wig from Wiggins Hair. Let's get right into it, okay? Okay. Hey guys, what's good? What's poppin'? Guess who's back, back, back? Back again, again, again. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, what's good? What's poppin'? It's your girl Caroline. I'm back again with another install. And ooh, I've been stalling. Like, low key, it's three o'clock right now. I, I was supposed to stop filming around two, but it's three. Low key, I was supposed to start filming around one. But I was stalling on this wig install because, let me get her. Hold on one second. I've been stalling on this wig install because I want to try a half up, half down, but oof, I just know it's going to take forever. Half up, hard, half up, half down, honestly, in my opinion, are one of the harder hairstyles to achieve. It can be very frustrating, especially if you're going to do it with that, like, actual glue. You're just going to use, like, the spray adhesive. So I'm scared. I'm nervous. I have five hours to do this hairstyle, my makeup, get dressed, take some pics because I got to be somewhere. So let's, let's hope it goes well, okay? I'm nervous. I'm fucking nervous, okay? But this is the way I'm gonna be styling. This is her, this is she. It is going to, it is a 32 inch, super long. I think it's the longest I've done so far. 32 inch loose wave wig from Wiggins. They have bomb long hair. And that's what it looks like. I believe this is HD lace, 13 by four. They gave me a lot of good 13 by four parting. Love that for her. I already bleached and plucked her. I'm most likely not going to be talking through this video, like I do most of my videos, but let's be honest. I'm not the best at talking, okay? I've seen the comments. I see them. Don't worry. But, um, yeah, I'm play some music. I'm going to try not to lose my freaking shit. So, hopping right into it, I am using my Fenty foundation to just tint the lace of this wig, so it is a perfect match for my head, okay? I'm tinting under and over the lace, and once I get that nice and all over the lace, I go ahead and use the blow dryer to just dry that up because we do not want any slipping and sliding once we're trying to install this wig. I got my peaches out in Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Once I've tinted the lace and got the wig on my head, I'm just going in and cutting off the lace around my ears. I had to make sure I was really careful with this part because this, this is a half up, half down. All of my ears will be showing. I gotta make sure it's looking very coming out of my scalp. So do not cut off too much lace. Before I start cutting the lace into sections, I pulled out this little piece of hair in the front because the wig did sit a little bit low on my head and I don't want this wig too low, especially for this look, I'll look like I have a whole cap on my head, you know? So I just pulled that out, give me a nice little section to work with and then go in with my scissors and just start sectioning the hair so it'll be easier to, you know, cut and glue it down. For my actual adhesive, I'm using this spray. I'll link it down below. I really love using this spray. It's just as good as got to be, maybe even better depending on your, like, you know, skin and how it reacts to certain products. But I feel like it's very fast drying. I don't get too much residue. And I feel like it honestly stays, it stays melted for some time. But I still get sweaty with it, so I wouldn't say it's sweat proof or shower proof. I just think it's good for the moment type of installs. I'm using my blow dryer on a cool setting to help me push that in. I'm also using a rat tail comb to help me push the lace and the glue and all of that in to get a very nice locked install. I'm in my own car. 
California, that shit. I took my chick up to the north, yeah, that ass bitch. I get my light right from the source, yeah, yeah, that's it. I get the truth, so I'm sure. And in my hand because I'm yours. I can't, I can't pretend I can't ignore you. Okay, now that we got that wig nice and secure, I'm really happy with the way this lace is melting. The hairline is looking plucked, plucking myself. Now we're gonna do our baby hairs. I wanted to keep this very simple because I knew just the styling, like getting the half up, half down is gonna take most of my time. So I kept the baby hairs really simple. Two on the side and a little bit in the middle and then my sideburns, super simple. I am using my Eco Styling Gel to lay down the baby hairs. I like using this because it doesn't have too much of a sticky residue like most products that I use. And it's really just, you know, it's like $3 for a big ass tub. So it's affordable, easy to use, we love her. I got my peaches out in Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. So the baby hairs are done we're gonna just add our elastic band to help us lay down the lace and to help hold down the lace as we are trying to get it really slick and high for the half up half down ponytail portion now I'm going ahead and just sectioning the hair out and also pressing it down so I can get a really flat clean install I'm using my wax stick and my hot comb on a very high setting and just you know getting everything really smooth and slick um, one thing I will say about this part is depending on how thick your frontal is this would be much better style to use with a 13 by 6 because you have more hair to grab and if you're gonna use a 13 by 4 please make sure it's one of those 13 by 4 that gives you parting space all over because if this was one of those that does not give you all that type of parting space this hairstyle would not have happened so I'm just going around trying my best to just neatly part the hair and just press everything down I also try to help myself not, you know, lose my mind and I go ahead and just section the hair off in the back because you need to make sure you have clean sections so you have hair, you don't have hair all over the place and you don't get stressed out, especially with how big and long this hair was. I did have to go into the back of the hair and grab hair that wasn't part of the frontal so I can get a really thick half up portion, you know? I'm going in with some Eco Styler as well to just help slick all the flyaways and just to make the hair smoother and easier to work with. So don't let this video fool you, okay? I literally spent about two hours trying to figure out how to get this hair to be up and look perfect the way I wanted it to. Nothing in life is perfect, but we will darn kill ourselves trying, okay? I'm kidding. No, we will not. Go for it. We won't kill ourselves. 
but what I figured out is that it's easier to get like an elastic wig band as you see me using right here and just use that as your um, rubber band or hair tie instead of using actual hair tie. So once I've gotten my ponytail the length and the thickness that I like, I just get the elastic band and wrap that around and then once it's nice and tight, tie a good sturdy secure knot at the top. Use my scissors to cut it, you know, a little bit shorter. Don't want that long ribbon thing hanging down. And boom, bam, the ponytail is secured. I wish I figured this out literally two hours ago because using a regular rubber band or elastic was not helping me get a really good secure ponytail. Now to clean up the look, I just grabbed a little section of hair from the back of my ponytail and I'm just going to use that and wrap it around the elastic band so you don't see it. So it just looks like a very, you know, invisible genie floating type of ponytail. I'm using some spritz as well to help hold that strip of hair in place. And as you're doing this, you want to make sure you're making sure that strand of hair is not tangled. It's very straight and pulled tightly to give a very, you know, clean look that is what i was trying i'm sure the more practice the better you get at this but honestly it's just it's a lot of work once i'm done wrapping the ponytail i mean not the ponytail wrapping the strand of hair around my ponytail i just use a little bobby pin to just push the little tail under and just to keep that piece of hair secure now what we are finally done with the styling oh child it was it took it took a miracle it took a village of my brain cells okay now we can finally start to define the curls which is super easy this is a loose wave hair so i don't have to do too much i just have a spray bottle with literally just water nothing else and i just go ahead and just drench the hair and use my paddle brush and my fingers to help me brush through the tangles and just get the curls slash waves defined and popping <laughs> I got my peaches out in Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. This hairstyle wanted to kill me. And I'm not even too happy. It didn't come out exactly perfect like I wanted, but I give up. I have other things to do. I'm not gonna be a perfectionist for this one, y'all. Like this one, she's gonna have to just, you know? And I'm gonna hope it's just one of the situations where I'm tripping and it's not that bad. Cause child, <laughs> wow. So I'm gonna go, so the hair is still wet, so I'm gonna go do my makeup while the hair is drying. And I'm gonna come back and show y'all the finished dried results. Real quick, I'm gonna redo these baby hairs because they shifted during that whole stressful ass process. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing this hairstyle for a very long time again. It almost kills me, God forbid. This hairstyle is not for the weak. It's really not. Especially if you really care how much it looks at the end. But yeah. I'm in my 
Oh man, this hair. It was a journey. But yeah, so we'll come back once the hair is dry and I have my makeup on and all that good stuff. So, see y'all in a few. Well, honestly, the next second you'll see me. Sheesh. Okay, come on, come on. Y'all see her, you see it. I was so freaking happy when the hair finished drying my makeup was on. Like, this is one of my favorite hairstyles. Like, I thought it was going to be an epic fail. But, y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I'm proud that I challenged myself to do this. It looks so good. Y'all don't got to tell me, but if you want to tell me, you know, I'd be much appreciated. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Hope to see you in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, see y'all another one. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Goodbye. I got my bitches out in Georgia. Yeah, shit. I get my weed from California. That shit. I took my chick up to the north. Yeah, badass bitch. I get my light right from the source. Yeah, yeah.